Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. There is a cyber attack called Evil Twin. Do not use public Wi-Fi before watching this video. Do not use public Wi-Fi before watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what Evil Twin is and how it works and what you can do to prevent it from happening to you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So an evil twin attack is a sophisticated form of cyber attack that exploits public Wi-Fi networks to steal sensitive information from unsuspecting users. An evil twin attack occurs when a hacker creates a fake Wi-Fi access point that mimics a legitimate network. The fake network usually has the same name, SSID, as the real public Wi-Fi hotspot, making it difficult for users to distinguish between the two. Now how it works. The attacker sets up a rogue Wi-Fi access point, often in a public uh, place, uh, like a coffee shop or airport, or your or your favorite Starbucks, right? <laughs> they give the fake network the same name as legitimate nearby network. Users connect to the fake network, thinking it's legitimate, right? Once connected, the attacker can intercept and monitor all unencrypted traffic passing through the network. Here are some of the risks and consequences, right? When a user connects to an evil twin network, the attacker can eavesdrop on internet uh, activity. They can steal login credentials and sensitive information, so your, your private sensitive information in your phone uh, and various areas, right? They can redirect users to malicious websites. They can inject malware into the victim's device. If you like this video so far, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Again, if you like this video so far, if you are gaining knowledge, if you are enjoying, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. So now there is an evil twin Wi-Fi scam, right? And it's plaguing airports. It's plaguing so many, uh, you know, various uh, aspects in real life public society. So I'm going to, you know, read an article and then we're going to take it from there. So, okay. Okay, so let, let, let's read this article. So the article reads, sit back, relax, and look out for hacking. That's what, you know, airline pilots worldwide, worldwide, right? Uh, might as well be saying on the public uh, address system. An old tech scam was found flying in, you know, a new home, uh, passenger jets. So news outlets in Australia broke the story over the summer. An old scam is back, this time on airplanes. Consumer investigator Chris Kimber has a warning about a vulnerability in your phone's Wi-Fi. Australia's equivalent of the FBI arrested a man. Investigators accused him of stealing airline passengers' personal information while they were on a flight using what is called Evil Twin, right? We just talked about it a little bit, right? Uh, evil Twin Wi-Fi. So it's extremely easy, uh, said uh, War Warman Hoven, which is a Nord VPN security advisor and a longtime tech guru. So Warman Hoven explained that Evil Twin Wi-Fi is an imposter that copies the name of Wi-Fi you trust and your phone remembers. Uh, you know, think of place like airports, hotels, and coffee shops. Warman Hoven said pretenders were an issue in, you know, with early Wi-Fi, but the threat died. The Australia uh, case added new twists, right? Investigators say the man they arrested got several flights where passengers were sitting ducks. Detectives say the man had a small portable Wi-Fi hotspot that he named exactly the same as the airport Wi-Fi. So once the plane took off, the passengers switched to airplane mode. Their phones connected to the imposter Wi-Fi, thinking they were reconnecting to the airport Wi-Fi. So it's not hard to do, said Warman Hoven, right? Australian police Police said the evil twin Wi-Fi instructed people to log in for internet access using their social media or email passwords. Some did, allegedly giving the suspected scammer their usernames and passwords, which are critical ingredients for identity theft. And we have a statement and it reads, a lot of companies will never ever meet you physically. They will only meet you digitally, right? And if I can get your digital identity, I am you. Warman Hoven explained uh, from a hacker perspective, okay? So the Australian arrest is regarded as the first, right? Uh, some US airports are on alert. So the San Jose airport said it is aware of the incident. Oakland's airport said, we are aware uh, of recent events evolving airports and are monitoring the situation very closely. You need to be aware too. So humans are the weakest link in this, right? Th you know, this is a revival of that attack, Warman Hoven said. Evil Twin Wi-Fi can pop up anywhere and spoof any Wi-Fi network. 
you've ever connected to. Your smartphone probably has a long list of public Wi-Fi networks, such as airports, stores, and libraries. It will automatically reconnect to those even if it's an evil twin, even if it's an evil twin. So tell your phone to forget those, go to your Wi-Fi settings, find the list of networks and swipe to forget, delete any public networks like airports, stores, and libraries. Then only connect when you see a network you know. So we have a statement and it reads, once you're done using a public Wi-Fi, change your device settings to forget network, said Australian Federal Police Detective Andrea Coleman. So as an extra layer of protection, Australian police recommended security software. We have a statement. <laughs> Consider installing a virtual private network to encrypt and secure your data, Coleman said. One more option, do a 180 with Wi-Fi. Most of us leave it on by default. Consider leaving it off by default, then only turn it on when you see a network or hotspot you know you trust. Yes, it's an extra step, but it is key to keeping yourself one step ahead of an evil twin scammer, okay? So that is that article, right? So that's, that's kind of like what's going on in real time in the world. So one of the things is, how can you protect yourself from an evil twin attack? This, let's get into that right, you know, for a second. So to protect yourself from an evil twin attack, you can take several precautions, right? You can use a VPN. A virtual private network encrypts your internet traffic, making it harder for attackers to intercept your data. Wow! Even if you connect to a malicious network. Two, avoid unsecured Wi-Fi networks, right? Be wary of networks marked as unsecure as evil twin networks often have this designation. Use your own hotspot, right? That's number three. When possible, use your personal mobile hotspot instead of public Wi-Fi. Four, disable auto connect. Turn off the auto connect feature on your device when in public places to prevent automatically connecting to potentially malicious networks. Five, limit sensitive activities on public Wi-Fi. Avoid logging into private accounts or conducting financial transactions when using public networks. So your nephew that needs some money for their, for their football game or whatever while you're at the airport, tell them when the plane lands, you got them, but not during. Number six, stick to HTTPS websites, right? Only visit websites that use HTTPS encryption, which provides an additional layer of security. Seven, enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security to your accounts, making it harder for attackers to gain access even if they obtain your login credentials. Eight, keep your software updated. Maintain updated software on all your devices, including operating systems, browsers, and security applications. Nine, use strong, unique passwords, right? Implement robust passwords for all your online accounts and consider using a password manager. 10, pay attention to network names and security warnings, right? Be vigilant about the Wi-Fi names you connect to and heed any security alerts your device may display. That That, that is uh, that is very crucial. So uh, by following these practices, right, uh, you can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to an evil twin attack and enhance your overall security online. Now, we talked about VPNs, right? Which VPN service are best for preventing evil twin attacks? Let's get into it, right? Because uh, a VPN is one of the strongest uh, things you can do to, to uh, protect yourself. So you can use uh, ExpressVPN. It's known for its strong encryption, fast speeds, and large server network. There is also NordVPN, which offers advanced security features like double VPN encryption and CyberSec for blocking malicious websites. There is Surfshark, which is a cost-effective option with robust security features and unlimited simultaneous connections. You have PIA, PIA, whatever you want to call it, also known as Private Internet Access, which provides good security at an affordable price. You have Proton VPN, which offers a free tier with unlimited data and emphasizes privacy and security. So when choosing a VPN to protect against evil twin attacks, you want to look for features like strong encryption protocols. You, you know, you have the OpenVPN, the IKE v2 wire guard. A, you, want, you also want to look for a strict no logs policy, the kill switch functionality, the DNS leak protection, the large server network for better performance. Now, remember that when, you know, while a VPN is an excellent tool for protection, 
it should be used in conjunction with other security practices like avoiding unsecured networks, disabling auto connect for Wi-Fi, and being cautious about accessing sensitive information on public networks, okay? So you're gonna wanna keep that into effect. So uh, if you like this video so far, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if you're gonna be more cautious, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. Also comment your thoughts down below. I'll see you in the next video.